Now back to treating our wastewater. Advanced treatment, our third treatment process, is a physical, chemical, or biological process used to further clean wastewater. For this lab, we will use a chemical process, chemical flocculation. Aluminum sulfate will attract or flock together with pollutants and become heavy and settle to the bottom. This settling process is called tertiary sedimentation. We're going to go ahead and put the aluminum sulfate into our sedimentation tank so that this process can get started. There you go. All right. So do you guys see? Ah, oh, yes, you see. Very good. What is it turned? So it's a chemical reaction that's occurring. And what's going to happen is the aluminum sulfate is going to clump to the bacteria. And then the bacteria are going to get really heavy and fall to the bottom. At the wastewater treatment plant, water settles in these tanks for six to eight hours. Settled solids are sent back to the beginning of the treatment process where they are treated all over again. Also, in real wastewater, this is a critical step in removing phosphorus. We didn't add phosphorus to our simulated wastewater tanks, but it will always be present in real wastewater. It comes from human waste, detergents, and industrial discharge. For the treatment plant, this process of chemical flocculation is important not only for removing those microorganisms, but also for removing phosphorus and other solids. Once settled, you can see that the wastewater looks cleaner. Okay, it's time for another round of tests. Remember, we have not tested since primary treatment. Hypothesize what might be happening, and remember to consider the impact of secondary and advanced treatment on water quality. Let's look at our test results for test number three, after secondary and advanced treatment. You can see that the pH decreased to seven. Aluminum sulfate may cause a slight decrease in pH, and additionally, we remove the ammonia, which is also basic. Ammonia, 0.25 milligrams per liter. This is a big decrease. This is one of the largest impacts of secondary treatment. This is where the microorganisms did their jobs by removing the ammonia and converting it to nitrogen gas. Turbidity, 20 FAU. This is another big decrease. Uh, we did add microorganisms that definitely made the water look cloudier, but then after chemical flocculation, those microorganisms settled out with other solids. COD, 176 milligrams per liter we can see another decrease. So each time we remove pollutants through a treatment process, our COD continues to decrease. At the Noman Cole Wastewater Treatment Plant, advanced treatment is a chemical and biological process. First, wastewater enters the moving bed biofilm reactor, or MBBR. This is a biological process that uses small plastic media in the shape of pasta wheels microorganisms, and supplemental carbon to further lower the nitrite and nitrate levels. The biological process focuses on denitrification. It's an anoxic process, so no free oxygen is added to the system. The plastic media increase the surface area for microorganisms to live and grow. Supplemental carbon is their food source. The increased surface area equals increased metabolism. From the MBBR, wastewater travels to the tertiary clarifiers, where ferric chloride is added to the tank for chemical flocculation. All right, our wastewater has now completed the third of four treatment processes, advanced treatment. Advanced treatment is a physical, chemical, or biological process used to further reduce and remove nutrients, organic matter, and microorganisms. Did you know, in 2003, Noman Cole installed one of the first and largest moving bed biofilm reactor systems in the United States to help me enhance nutrient removal regulations? The installation of this treatment process shows our commitment to continuous improvements and is just another way wastewater management keeps harmful pollutants out of our local waterways. <laughs>